I'm ranking number one for a search that I didn't even know that I was ranking number one for just because I went back, used the course that I was in, and Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Kevin Thompson. And if you want the truth about making money online, then you should probably subscribe below. Before I start this video off, I just wanna go over a few things about this personal channel. So like I said in the past, I have been starting to build up other YouTube channels. Obviously this is my best work since I have had this channel for about a year and a half now. I'm not the type of person to put blame elsewhere, but this channel would be uh, very much further if some sort of incidents like fake copyrights on my channel didn't happen. Uh, you know, I lost a lot of traffic due to that situation, not being able to post for about three weeks now being able to get back on my feet i am starting to see the growth back in my channel so thank you guys for sticking around i just want to shout out my subscribers right now i just want to show my videos that i've filmed you know within this past year and a half and just show you the improvement and like i've said in the past i'm not going to be taking these videos down because i do want to use it to inspire you guys i don't want you guys to you know think that i don't have the right thumbnails and i don't have the right information and i don't know what i'm talking about like you know you need to stop Start as soon as possible like just put your foot in the door you know that's what I did I didn't know nearly as much as I know now I did not have the thumbnails I was doing everything myself the editing I barely knew how to edit so I just want this to serve as inspiration for you guys that you know you don't need the perfect lighting you don't need the perfect background you just really need to start perfect segue into just starting as I've been able to make more money online I have chose to invest in myself by you know buying courses and just buying information to help me grow faster so there has been one course and I've put it in some of my comments not sure if you guys have seen that but there has been one course specifically that has helped me when it comes to you know having better SEO and getting my videos out there and if you guys don't know what SEO is that means search engine optimization and that's very 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 important I cannot stress that enough when it comes to YouTube because if your videos are not on that first page if somebody is typing something in this is how I've been able to be monetized pure just because of SEO I've been using strategies uh, when it comes to keyword research and I've learned that through this course so I'm gonna put this course the link to it in the comments below I'm gonna pin it so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about so this has been able to make me a lot more money than I actually paid for it so um, you know over time I have been able to rank certain videos so sometimes I do go back on my channel and this is all part of the process guys like you know just uploading videos is not gonna be enough like you have to do the research you have to go back and tweak it so sometimes I go back and tweak and optimize and I'll look at other people's hashtags and keywords that they use and then I'll use them in my own videos and that will rank my video so say somebody is typing something in and I'll show you guys a perfect example because only two months into my journey and this video still only has 500 views which is not really a lot for me and for anyone on YouTube okay I'm ranking number one for a search that I didn't even know that I was ranking number one for just because I went back use the course that I was in and use appropriate hashtags this is a process there's a bunch of things that you can do that is taught in that course so um, you know not only thumbnails SEO just overall marketing okay so you know you will learn a lot about that and how to make the videos better you know over time I will make these videos better I will be hiring an editor to make it a little bit more appealing I know it's kind of boring right now guys but you know I'm working with what I have and I want to show you guys that it's still possible to grow a YouTube channel to you know a pretty significant level only by yourself all right so now that I got that intro out of the way let's talk about the nitty-gritty how are you gonna be able to make money without showing your face okay by just re-uploading content let's go into YouTube and you know let's just search make money online and see what pops up so you know everyone in this space is looking to rank number one and at least be on that first page for make money online it's a very popular key term so just searching up make money online we can see that number one is Kevin David. So I pretty much knew that. As you can see, these people are ranking number one. And the power of that for them is that they're getting new subscribers when people are typing that in. So if I was able to be that Kevin David spot in that number one spot, and maybe not even the number one spot, but maybe just on this first page, 
then I'd be so much more likely to grow my channel very quickly because people would be seeing me and they would be interested and they would, some of them, subscribe. For me to be on that first page, it would do wonders for my channel and I'd make a lot more money because I'd always be getting new people. Like, think about how many people are searching that per day, make money online. So I'd be getting so many, I'd probably get a thousand subscribers a day if I was that number one through maybe, you know, number 10 spot. The way that you're gonna be able to do that though is by constantly posting. So, you know, the reason why I was able to grow this channel is for me being able to rank for Wesley Virgin, Wesley Virgin Reviews, Wesley Virgin Scams, okay? So, you know, when that whole fake copyright thing happened, you know, they were aware because they were probably typing themselves in, you know what I'm saying, the both of them, typing their names in and seeing what was popping up. Done For You Services also, you know, that was a great video that I was ranking for. But the reason that I was ranking was because I was always posting my channel so the fact that I was always putting out content my channel was growing and I was getting views on other videos not just those specifically okay that is how I was able to grow and that's how I was able to grab that top spot so there were other people that were in that top spot but they didn't nearly post as much and maybe they didn't give as much value so I was very honest in the videos that I was producing since I knew that I was ranking last year I started to make more of those types of videos so I was ranking even more because people were getting value and I was also getting a high retention on the video. So uh, a good retention that I've heard on YouTube is about 30%. I understand that a lot of my videos are kind of boring, so sometimes I get under that, but I can get 30% on you know a pretty good video. That is another thing that the YouTube algorithm pays attention to, your retention rate. So the more people watch your video, like if you can get them to watch a long part of your video and not just, oh, the first a minute or two minutes and click off, if you can get them to watch three minutes or more, okay, then the YouTube algorithm will be like, this is what people like, people are interested in this, let's push it out to more people, okay? So for an example, there was a video on my channel and I drop videos every day, so check out this playlist, Make Money Online, okay? There was a video that I recently just dropped within the last week and it was being pushed out to people like my mom and my aunt, two people that don't really watch my videos that much, but they follow me because they're family, of course, okay? They were able to see my video on their recommended page because the video was doing well. So the fact that other people found it useful, YouTube thought, hey, let's push this out to more people, even people that don't really watch his videos as much, let's still push it out to them because they might be interested, okay? And the thing with people is people respond to social proof. So if I dropped a video two days ago and it has 300 views already then other people will be like oh let's watch this this may be helpful this may be good okay the fact that I have over 60,000 views on you know a scam video okay more people will be inclined because they'll be like okay this is gonna be some good information like other people are finding this helpful okay so social proof is everything even like comments if you have like a thousand comments one of my videos has a thousand comments Okay, maybe two videos. So that's also another form of social proof. I'm gonna tell you like two different things that you can do. One of them is super easy and the other one involves a little bit more work. It's not too bad, but um, you know, you'd be a little bit safer putting in more work, okay? So the first way you can honestly re-upload it. So what you wanna do is go to, you know, copyright free videos. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. Click that filter and it'll show you videos that you can actually re-upload without suffering any copyright strikes. If you want to, you can go to this site and I use this all the time when I put like clips of other people's videos in my video. It's called YTMB, okay? I think that's what it's called and I'll show you. And all you have to do is copy and paste the link from the actual video copy the URL, put it in there, click MP4 because you want the video, not just the audio, okay? And it'll download for you. So if it doesn't work, try it a few times. It's, it's been times where it says error or whatever. So uh, make sure you do it a couple times because it will work. But the thing with this is it can only be 90 minutes. The niche that I wanna introduce you guys to, okay? You will probably make longer videos than an hour and a half. So the niche that I wanna expose you guys to that will be really easy, if you wanna still do this, you can still re-upload it and use the YTM website or whatever. To do this method, you have to find videos that are an hour and a half, and you can totally do that. You could still do that. That's the super easiest way to do it, and if you guys already have a YouTube account, if you're signed in on YouTube at this moment, then you will be able to do this. You can even turn your personal account that you have right now into the channel that you wanna use. Like, I mean, 
because if you're not really using it for anything else then you know why not in that course also in the comments it really goes over pretty much everything like more than I could say in this video hours worth of content all right but another way that you can do this is less easy but it's still very 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 simple okay go to some sites and get different graphics and get different audios okay and the audios i'm going to tell you guys right now super easy just go to like youtube audio library you can get any type of royalty free music there uh, you can also do what i just told you and go to the ytm site so what you want to do is you want to go to a video and get the hour and a half audio stick with the mp3 tab and then download that and it'll download on your computer and then you'll put that in iMovie so hopefully you guys have a Mac if you don't I will make another video about this and I'll go more in detail about how to actually do the edits there's two sites I'll recommend to you guys so first of all I want to compare to so I actually looked up uh, pixels and I was looking and it said that pixels is better than something else called Pixababy um, I definitely have heard of that but I haven't really used it and people are saying pixels is better so um, use pixels when you're doing this stuff this website will be for your graphics so it won't be necessarily for the audio you could probably get the audio off of here but I normally use it for the video formats when you get the videos they will only be about 10 to 20 seconds so what you want to do is you're just gonna copy and paste it copy copy paste it copy paste it okay so that it can be five hours six hours even like eight hours so some of these channels that do meditation music or like you know rain sounds thunderstorms uh, you know any type of nature sounds outside campfires okay that's the type of stuff you want to do because it's very generic it's very high traffic and people are always looking it up so the thing is with that the, the, the reason why you know SEO is so important especially for a channel like that is because you have a lot of competition it's very easy to do this stuff so you're gonna have a lot of competition so the thing is you have to post a lot so I'd recommend at least posting I would say two to three times a week if you can it's all gonna depend on your SEO it's all gonna depend on a hashtags that's why I said hashtag research is super super important because that is what's gonna get your videos out there there can be like one specific video that really like catches the YouTube algorithm that can make you easily a thousand dollars maybe even like five thousand dollars per month on one video SEO is very important so if you're gonna go into this I'd recommend to first the first step that you want to do before you even make any videos or anything look up your competition look up different type of sounds that you want to produce okay and find some sounds that you could find royalty free and you can find a lot of different of them so it could be rain sounds you can have like a rain sound themed channel okay look up the audios look up the competition and look at the top videos and look at their hashtags so another secret that I'm gonna tell you guys is you need to download a plugin called vid IQ so that is how I'm able to see different channels and how many views they're getting and how many you know watch hours they're getting how many subscribers they have I can look at all of that for any channel on YouTube okay just from having that plugin and that's what you want to do and you can also also see the hashtags that they use so that's helped me a lot because you know I'll look at certain popular videos and I'll be like okay what hashtags are they using I'll use the same hashtags and then I'll be able to rank my videos as well which will result indirectly into more ad revenue and that will mean okay more subscribers and I can also start selling other affiliate products on my channel okay so there's multiple ways to make money on a YouTube channel as well not just from the ad revenue you can also use another site called cover two R's dot co uh, there's a lot of other different type of visuals that you can get for your channel so like I said guys consistency is key and hashtags are key so if you can get the right hashtags you can constantly produce you know that channel will take off in the next few months so I really love making money on YouTube because it's free um, I'm gonna get really deep into YouTube as well I'm doing Instagram marketing and probably you know building YouTube channels at the same time that's gonna be my main focus right now because I'm just not really into building businesses at the moment being someone that wants to teach beginners I have to learn you know 
the best ways to make money online for a beginner and I definitely think that this is it I hope you guys get started with this you know something that builds traffic this is only one way to build traffic and that is the overall arching theme of this channel you know there are other different types of marketing you can do you can do social media marketing on um, platforms like Instagram TikTok. you can also do things like email marketing and sell affiliate products all of these different ways to market you will need to build traffic okay so uh, traffic is key this is a way to build traffic so everything is going to take consistency okay it's gonna take you know finding the right hashtags and everything like that so um, I wish you guys the best of luck on your journey comment below if you have any questions DM me on Instagram I answer on there as well I'll see you guys in the next one love you stay up peace